Hello everybody, this is Jared, the non-alcoholic aficionado, and today I've got Beagle Puss non-alcoholic beer to review for you. We've got the Strange Happenings Hazy and the Inverse West Coast IPA. Let's kick it off with the Strange Happenings. This is my first time trying Beagle Puss. I've heard great things about it from the NA beer community. Excited to test it out. Uh, these were gifted to me by the uh, friendly folks over at Zero Proof Northeast here in Minneapolis. So thanks to them for that. And here we go. This is a hazy IPA. And from the pictures I've seen online of this beer, it is incredibly opaque, which you can see. Quite hazy indeed. Cheers. Let's give it a sniff first. This one's kind of piney. Smells a little citrusy. Cheers. Ooh, it's smooth. It's got a fruity undernote to it. Not overly hoppy, but it's there. It's a good bite, good mouthfeel. Just an all around solid hazy IPA. I really like this. I like the color. Not a lot of head formation though. Mm. But that bitterness is just right for a hazy IPA. It's not something like a double IPA, like from the Go Brewing, not just another story. And it's not uh, like some of the, the, the IPAs that are a little bit more understated. It's right in that middle ground, kind of happy medium uh, of hoppiness. And it is fruity uh, at the same time. Uh, it should be noted, the fruity flavors that it's saying are coming from apricot, peach, melon, and pineapple with the piney finish. So my initial analysis of the pininess was relevant and on point. Mm. It's just smooth. Uh, if you don't know what a beagle puss is, the definition is here and there's two definitions. The first is that it is a novelty pair of horn rimmed glasses with attached eyebrows, plastic nose, and a bushy mustache. If you go on their website, you'll see the beagle puss stuff all over the place. Uh, if you want to look at it on the can, it's right there. Kind of some, some unique kind of lighthearted artwork and, and branding and marketing going on with these guys. And the, the hop head, it's on this one too. Oh no, this one doesn't have the hop head. This one has the hop head, which I like. And yeah, this is, it comes in 16 ounce cans. You can get four of them on their website for I think $17.99. Free shipping over $50. Hmm. That is really good stuff. I like that a lot. The second definition of a Beagle Plus is Nectar of the Gods. I don't know if that's a play on their marketing scheme. Maybe it's the real deal. I don't know, but I like it. It's valid. That is the Strange Happenings Hazy IPA. And this one is gonna get a five out of five. Five out of five, I haven't given that in a while. It's really, really solid beer. I'm gonna pour myself just a little more tasty poo. Cheers to one more drink. It's just all around, just great. Just, it's just a really good beer. Mm. Cheers, Beagle Puss. Good job. Next up, the West Coast Style IPA, known as the Inverse IPA. Let's give it a shot. Also, before we go too much further, I have an announcement to make. I have created a community on an app called School that is focused on sobriety, sales, and mental health. It's called Sober Sales Success. Uh, three things that really resonate with me in my uh, career path, my uh, mental health journey, my sobriety over the past almost five years. And I wanted to bring together a group of people that had similar my stat, you know, situations potentially, or maybe they resonate with one of the three pillars. Um, so yeah, there's more about that in the, the description below if you're interested. Look at the, look in the uh, pinned uh, section down there. Hope you can join if you'd like to. It's all good. Inverse IPA. Give it a pour. Ooh, color is a little bit more amber than the Strange Happenings. It's got a little bit more head formation. You see that there? It's fairly translucent, actually. It's not hazy at all. 
I'm gonna look at the, the notes before I go too far into my analysis. Bittersweet orange grapefruit resiny caramel hop candy. I wanna taste that hop candy. Cheers to hop candy. Ooh, that is heavy on the hops, but it's still a little sweet at the same time. But it's there. Mmm. Yeah, I can taste the grapefruit. The orange is, the orange kind of lingers on you. And the hoppiness is right there too. No aftertaste, no, no negative anything going on with this Beagle Puss Inverse IPA. Just all around solid drinking beer. And I like the color. It's got that, like I said, that amber note to it. Mmm. Ah, that's good stuff. Uh, I don't know if I said it, but this is brewed and canned in Branford, Connecticut. If you look at their website, all their distribution is like hubbed around Connecticut and uh, Massachusetts. I hope they can grow that. Maybe they're gonna be growing soon with maybe a round of investments or just different distribution channels. Hopefully they do that because I've never had this before and I think people would love it across the country. So hopefully. Yeah. Solid beer. Near beer, 4.5% non-alcoholic brew. It doesn't say anything about calories, but it does say right here, it's so tasty. In case you didn't agree, it's convincing because it says it on the can. So there's, cheers to marketing. Wow, it's a really good beer. I think I, I like the strange happenings better. This is really good. But because this one stands out and I can't give them both the same rating, I feel like it's it'd be, it'd be too aggressive of me to give them both fives. The Inverse IPA gets a four out of five. Strange Happenings, five out of five. I would buy up this stock. I would drive two towns over to get this one. If you're thinking about trying Beagle Puss, try both of them because they're both really good. They've also got a cider on their website, which I would love to try. I'm a big cider guy as well. I haven't had enough of them. I, I need to try more. So if you know any good ciders you want me to try, shoot that down in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, click over here. There's a button to subscribe and there's some playlists of some recent podcasts I've done with influencers in the space right over here. Thanks everybody for watching. Again, keep an eye out for that community that I'm creating. Love you to join and cheers to Beagle Plus. Thanks.